Alright, this is a bit of a weird question, but it gets asked a lot, so I guess I have to explain it to you. What happens when you titrate an ammonia solution with HCl? This here, ammonia, is a base. This here is an acid. Now, the only issue with these two is that NH3 doesn't have an OH on it immediately. Your titration reaction here is actually your ammonia and your HCl reacting together, or rather equilibrating, to NH4Cl. It's more of a synthesis reaction than a neutralization or double displacement. The deal is, at the equivalence point of this reaction, you're going to have none of this left and none of this left, because that's what the equivalence point is. Let's say we start with 0.2 moles of this and 0.2 moles of this. We obviously don't start with any of this. After these react, we get rid of 0.2 moles of that, we get rid of 0.2 moles of that, and we end up with 0.2 moles of this. At the equivalence point, if you're asked to figure out the pH of the solution, or if you're asked what's in the solution, the answer is you have 0.2 moles of NH4Cl. To find the pH, you have to take the NH4+, which is the acidic ion of those two, pretend that it's reacting with water, which it probably is if you're doing this in aqueous solution, and then saying, oh, well that makes NH3, because it gives away its proton, and uh, H3O+. You can find a Ka for this reaction, which honestly is probably going to be Kw divided by the Kb for ammonia, which happens to be 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 if you're working along at home. And doing an ice table for this reaction, solving for x, which will end up being your concentration of H3O+, and that's how you're going to find the pH. But the deal here is that this is your neutralization equation. This is what you end up with in solution at the end, and you have to use NH4 plus in an ice table to calculate the pH at equivalence. Don't forget, you don't use moles in an ice table. You're going to have to divide that by whatever your volume is. I don't know, 100 milliliters, 200 milliliters, whatever. Just make sure you're using moles per liter in your ice table. It's kind of important. All right, best of luck, guys.